y'all. So, as we move this train along, how many of you remember yesterday's keynote? Nobody, nobody remember. It was just yesterday. We had a keynote. Scott was there. Shantanu was there. David was there. Anyway, we're going to move forward. So we covered a lot in the two hours that we had the keynote yesterday. And here to help you find your favorites, we've got Mira Doncheva with her new innovation, Project Blink. Hi, Kevin. So good to see you. Look at, thank you. God damn it. Hey, Bria. Hey, Mira. Hello, everyone. All right. So this morning, our CTO, Eli, he's right up there, said to me, Mira, I want you to pull out some highlights from yesterday's keynote. Why he thought this was a good idea to do on stage with Kevin, I don't know, but let's just do it. <laughs> All right? So here is a video of the keynote, and I want to pull out some cool stuff. There is one feature I really liked, Intertwine. Maybe some of you remember that one. All right, let's see if I can find it in this video. Where was it? Do you all remember? Oh, there it is. Oh, I missed it. Oh, where is it? Ah! All right, this is definitely not going to be done in the four minutes I got up here. So let's try something different. So this is Project Blank. It took this video, the same keynote video, and it uses AI to pull out everything it can about it. So here are all the speakers. Bria, that's you right here. You are in the keynote. These are all the sounds. There was music. There was clapping. There were some dog sounds. And then over here, you can actually just look at what happened in the video, right? There was music. And then someone said, please welcome Shantan and Ryan. And then Shantanu came on and he said, good morning. It's so great to be back in person. Did you know it was our 20th max? I didn't know. Anyway, so how are we going to find that intertwine feature? All right, well, let's just type intertwine. Oh my gosh, that didn't work. Let's try it like again. Said, anything can happen. Anything can happen. You got it, Vera. All right. All right, let's try it again. Let's refresh. It's a web browser. It's all good. We're here for it. We're here. All right. Let's try it again. Intertwine. Maybe if I use one of the recommendations. Ah, oh, I must have not typed it right. OK, so if I just type for intertwine, I get the feature. OK, this is the part where Danielle says, this is the brand new intertwine feature. Shout but out this, to Danielle Morimoto. Yeah, and then right here is actually uh, Figma CEO, he said intertwine was awesome. That's another cool thing I could pull out, but I'm gonna stick to the demo, all right? So let's say, she said, so with my lasso tool, and then I'm just gonna select, I'm gonna hit clip, I'm gonna hit create, and now I get a new project that's just that part of the video. And the AI figures out where the in and out point should be so that they're smooth, they're not in the middle of a word. So let's, let's listen. So with my lasso tool, I'm simply going to circle the areas. That was pretty smooth, right? Good cut. Now let's remove all this clapping. We don't need the clapping for social media. Let's just listen again. This is the brand new intertwine feature. Really good, really good. All right, let's keep going. All right, so another feature I really liked was all the 3D modeling stuff. And I don't remember what the name of the feature was, but I remember they showed a backpack. Do you all remember the backpack? So now if I search for backpack, not only do I get the parts where someone said backpack, but I get the visuals too. I can just jump directly to the parts in the video where the backpack is in the video. And so let's come over here. Come over here, I see he shows the backpack and then he starts talking about the graphics. So I can just select this part it says the patch, and I'm going to just hit copy, bring it over here, and hit paste. And that's it. Wow. In case you blinked and missed it, editing video with Project Blank is just like editing text. You copy, you paste, you delete, that's it. Super dope. Super dope. All right. Now, I'll just end with one last feature I really loved. It was the part where Scott showed the generative fonts. That was super cool. So I'm just going to search for fonts, font. And let's see. Turns out 
We talked about fonts a lot yesterday. I said, this is not going to work. I wonder if I could try something else. Um, I remember seeing uh, when he was talking about the fonts, it had these nice letters. I think it said Tokyo, maybe. Let's see if that works. It does. Tokyo. There it is. So Project Blank finds not just objects, it also finds words. It makes it so easy for me to just find those places and just pick out the clips and just get going. So let's go ahead and select this part. Hit copy. I'm over here. Whoop. It paste. And now let's just listen. Create a unique font with the power of generative AI. So you start, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> you start with any Adobe font, and then you give, an express, you give Express a suggestion, like electric cables, or I don't know, orchid petals, and then Express will generate a one-of-a-kind font that matches your scene perfectly. Wow. Pretty cool. Wow. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait to try this out myself. I didn't know about this. So I'm not done. It turns out Project Blank is not just the demo. It's something that you can all try yourselves. You too, Kevin. I will. Go over to Adobe Labs, try out Project Blank, give us your feedback. We can't wait to invent the future of video editing with all of you. Thank you. Let's Good give job. it up for Beardo Shema. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Now, Kevin, if I'm not mistaken, you're the head of a production company. Uh, not a production company, a media uh, company, ecosystem. Um, it once was a production company, combined two entities and created Heartbeat, which is now just a full service studio. Amazing. Yeah. And I think you guys have some podcasts, some movies, yes. a couple yes. TV shows. Yes. Now, imagine using the power of Project Blink. You can go through and see what lines you like. You can just type in parts of the scene that you want to see. It's an amazing power. And you can use it, so you know. Well, I know. She just told me that there's a, 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 a link up. She said somewhere where I can go and test it. So to be supportive and more than just to get a better understanding of it, I'm going to go and do it. Um, that's the benefit of being here. I feel like I'm getting some exclusive behind the scenes stuff. So Listen, only the best for you, my well, friend. Only the best, but you gotta keep in mind, this is available for me anyway, <laughs> because I'm a partner. A partner. Uh,